Let me just start by a, a quick sales pitch. I'm not sure if everyone here knows Qualcomm, but we are a technology company. We are uh, the brains behind most of the phones that you use. We make uh, chipsets that go inside the, the phones that you uh, best know, uh, the likes of uh, Samsung, LG, Blackberries, uh, Nokia. So. Uh, the, the Qualcomm business model is slightly unique. Uh, we are an innovations company, a technology company. We innovate and those uh, innovations then uh, help fuel the ecosystem and uh, once that happens the advanced uh, devices come out and once the devices come out users like yourself uh, start using it and the revenue flows back into the ecosystem uh, which means uh, more money for uh, other players in the ecosystem but definitely for Qualcomm as well and uh, that's how I get paid. So that's the bottom line here. But it's a 28-year-old company and it has an exciting uh, or a very interesting start. It was started by seven university professors, uh, Dr. Irvin Jacobs, you might have heard that name, and he started the company at the age of 56. And uh, today it's a uh, $110 billion market cap uh, company. Uh, just to put it in perspective, that's uh, the same size as uh, Intel and uh, pretty much the same size as Citibank. Uh, let's move on to the real stuff, mobiles, uh, the largest platform known in the history of mankind, especially in the technology field. There is nothing, there is nothing else that comes close to it. And uh, uh, some stats and numbers, uh, I think there are 6.6 .6 billion people that are connected here. Um, it, uh, it's quite interesting to see that or to know that in some places around the world you can get a mobile connection but you cannot get electricity. So that says it all, I suppose, but uh, I'm sure there are places around the Philippines as well where people experience that. Uh, but what does that give you as a market, as a marketing, uh, as marketing folks? Obviously, it gives you the largest platform to work with and uh, you know, push your products, services, and marketing messages to, to a lot of people around the world. Having said that, I do acknowledge that there are a lot of uh, people that are unconnected at, at the moment through internet. And uh, uh, if you, if you uh, saw the speakers, the previous speaker's slides, uh, Qualcomm was also part of, or is also part of the internet.org. And we are also doing our bit to connect the world uh, uh, in the best way we can. Um, I'll talk a little bit about some industry trends. And, uh, uh, you know, the two things that I'll focus most is uh, mobile uh, computing and how mobile compu computing is being redefined. And uh, something that we've uh, started to use uh, a lot more in our internal uh, discussions is the digital sixth sense, and we started to socialize that idea as well. Um, there's another thing on, on this chart here, which is the 1000, 1000x challenge. That's uh, more about um, the way data um, usage, usage is growing and how do we cater to the high demands of these users uh, in terms of data um, and, and in, internally within the company, we've come up with this uh, challenge. We call it the 1000x challenge, basically preparing for the next 1000x of data consumption by consumers like yourself.